Last high pressure building in that's going to lead to phenomenally quiet conditions overall for the next several days. That's around here. Not so much for the southeastern US and the tropics. Here's Helene just off the coast of the Yucatan Peninsula and not far away currently from Cozumel right now just to 45 miles east northeast of there. Still moving to the northwest at nine, although we'll eventually turn north and then northeast over the next 24 hours. We'll also continue to strengthen. Still a tropical storm, but expecting hurricane status over the next 12 hours and could be a category two hurricane already 24 hours from now, which could lead to a major landfalling hurricane category three or higher as we get into the day on Thursday. Now, interesting to note, every single tropical system is different. The biggest difference with this one at landfall will be just the expansive nature of the strong winds. So tropical storm warnings for the entire peninsula of Florida and hurricane warnings all the way into central Georgia. That's because forward speed of this will take it uh, really quickly inland. That will prevent a lot of rain at the coastline, but will bring a lot of moisture northward. Atlanta under flash flood watches. Also notice the center of our cone could bring it right over the city of Atlanta just about 12 hours from landfall and it's going to bring a lot of moisture. In fact, three to six inches near the coast of Florida, but five to 10 plus from Atlanta northward. We could be talking about 15 inches of rain in some cases in the southern Appalachians. So it will have a expansive nature to this particular hurricane, unlike the last couple, which have been uh, relatively compact. This not so much. Of course, you're going to hear more about that coming up in the next couple of days.